As its players know, Project Plus is an expressive and deep game with many interwoven mechanics from both Melee and Brawl, and this blend allows P Plus Tech to be some of the coolest in the entire Smash series if you ask me. And so this video is dedicated to some of those exclusive P Plus Techs. To simply define tech, I'd say it's some sort of mechanical interaction that is not obvious, or its perform function is not the same as its intended function. Basically, it's all the things you can do that you might not know that you can do. In addition to explaining how the tech functions and its uses, I'll also add a lot of personal bias just for good measure. In the top right of the screen for each tech you'll see an individual difficulty and practicality rating on a scale of 1 to 9, with 9 being the highest for either scale. Difficulty is simple, how hard the tech is to actually do. A few things can skew this, like requiring a, your opponent to do some specific action or be in a specific place. The practicality would be how often this tech would have a relevant impact on the game. This factors in the difficulty, but also considers the payoff when you are successful with it, and the risk it presents whenever you attempt the tech. And without any further ado, let's begin the general character techniques. RAR stands for Reverse Aerial Rush. Run and dash turnaround can still be jumped out of, allowing for things like approaching bear, retreating fair, or even rar wave dash to ledge. Dacus, also standing for a dash attack cancelled up smash. The inputs to this are dash attack into an immediate up smash input, but the window is tight. The effect is a sliding up smash, and it has a variable distance depending on what character you're playing. Also, some dash attacks cannot be cancelled this way. The examples are DK, Diddy, and Kirby, and others are nearly impractical compared to their running up smash, like Fox, whose Dacus goes only 3 units further than his running up smash. B Reverse This is performed by doing a special and then inputting back facing direction with the analog stick. Doing so reverses any of the momentum of the move and also turns around your character. Wave Bounce By combining B Reverse with Melee's B Turnaround, the momentum shift from the B reverse still happens, but the character will keep their original directions. Essentially, a reverse reverse. Run drop and wave drop. Momentum in P plus can be carried from a platform drop from the air. This can be done out of run, wave dash, or wave land. It's called run drop out of run and wave drop out of wave dash and wave land, respectively. Glide toss and aerial glide toss. This technique is technically in melee, but the effect is significantly more pronounced in P+, so it's definitely worth mentioning. By inputting a roll and immediately after and putting an item throw, your character will slide across the ground while throwing an item. This distance of the slide varies heavily between characters. This can also be done using an air dodge in the air for an omnidirectional aerial glide toss, with the direction determined by your air dodge angle. Brawl Pivot Grab Every character has a variation on their normal grab when performed out of a turnaround that typically has a lot better grab range and a unique animation. Ledge Slide Off Setups Maid Dropping Some moves or movements near the ledge can be manipulated with the analog stick to force a slide off, allowing for fast, consistent ledge grabs. Some people call this maid dropping, but I've never really heard that as a commonly used term. New IASA Options Air dodges and special are now allowed out of IASA frames, allowing for many characters to be able to do aerial wave lands that they could never do before. Some moves IASA will dictate whether an item can be thrown during those frames. This is particularly useful if your character uses items like Rob or Diddy, since this allows you to access your aerials while still holding on to an item. Up smash out of run. Brawl onwards allow up smash to be performed directly out of run. This saves at least one frame compared to melee, where you would instead have to jump cancel up smash and spend at least one frame in jump squat. Brawl Pivot Walk This impractical technique lets you style on your opponents by just walking and constantly turning around. Tourney Winner Ledge Dash Tournament Winner, also known as Ledge Jump, got its name ironically for being one of the worst ledge options in melee, due to it being both laggy and very easy to cover. Now it's been changed to have significantly less lag, and can often be used for a new style of ledge dash. Footstool 
It became a Steery staple in Brawl, for better or worse, and it also is in P+, but it works a bit differently. Footstool in this game is inputted with the taunt buttons to make it a little bit more of an intentional action. It also works on grounded opponent like a meteor and makes them stagger a little bit. And footstooling an air opponent sends them into a tumbling animation. Taunt cancelling. Almost every taunt in the game can be edge cancelled by sliding to an edge while you use it. Grab armor changes. Grabs and attacks landing on the same frame is handled slightly differently. The grabber still lands the grab, but now they still take the full damage of whatever move hit them on that same frame. And while this move is actually beneficial for the person who used the attack compared to melee, due to the visual of armoring the move, many people seem to feel like it feels worse in P+, when it happens to you. Shield Slide Off There is now a recoil that happens when you are grounded and strike a shield in P+. This pushback can force you to slide off an edge, and doing so will edge cancel the attack and allow you to extend the sequence. Wave Dash Item Pickup Wave dashing over items has now been added as a shortcut to being able to pick them up. It's convenient. Wave Dash Z Drop Thanks to the physics delay, there's also a one frame window to Z Drop an item during your wave dash. Sunwalk While this is technically a general tech that can be done by everyone, it's really only useful for the few characters. But it's basically the opposite of a moonwalk, as it utilizes tilting the gray stick forward slightly after ending a dash to carry out some of the momentum into a short skid. It's by far easiest to notice on characters like Sonic. Brawl Twin Stick DI, also known as Dual Stick Smash DI. SDI works a little bit differently in Brawl, since the C stick overrides the analog stick. It allows for Dual Stick at DI for all SDI instead of just ASDI like Melee allows for. By holding the control stick in a direction, and flicking the C stick in another direction, we will get three alternating inputs of SDI between the analog stick to the C stick back to the analog stick. Tilt stick messes with this DI technique since the frames where C stick overrides are not counted, this makes it about 70% as effective as default DSSDI. Tilt stick. This is a control method which replaces your C stick smash attack inputs with tilt attack inputs. This can be helpful for making techniques such as pivot tilts easier or even CC tilts, but it also hampers some techniques like making DSSDI about 70% its normal effectiveness as well as making CC down smash significantly harder. So at the end of the day, it's all a matter of preference. Special Glide Aerial specials at Ultra Momentum can be combined with running off of a platform to carry much of that speed into a sort of glide. Wall Cling Some characters with wall jumps have a further property that allows them to attach to the wall for a short period of time. During this you can choose to wall jump off, or after a few seconds you'll detach automatically. Curl Tilt While many characters in P Plus have curls, a few specific ones get a special attack that can be performed out of it. This attack is known as a Crawl Tilt. Rising Aerial for DJC characters. Characters that have a double jump canceling enabling double jump can now do a Rising Aerial or special by holding down jump when performing the attack. Peach and Mewtwo are the only two exceptions to this, but at least Mewtwo can still Rising Aerial effectively with Hover. Drop Cancel Collection. A drop cancel is when you pass through a platform while performing an aerial and thanks to the hit stun or shield stun, you land on that same platform almost immediately. Now thanks to the one frame physics delay, we get some new drop cancels, and also there are some moves that just weren't in previous games, so those will also be here. A lot of character special moves with the ability to grab ledge now also have reverse grab boxes in addition to their normal ones. We can use this to race a ledge from stage sometimes, and Luigi in particular can use this tech to cycle to his next misfire charge quickly. Hack Stashes With the exception of Luigi, Peach, and Ness, every single character in the game can perform a fully invincible hack stash. Cape Glide This is an example of a type of special glide. Performing it is as simple as using cape immediately before sliding off a platform from your run momentum. Double cape. 
On ledge, there's enough time to cape away from ledge and then cape back towards ledge in time to re-grab it. Fix knockback dare. The first hit of dare meteors grounded opponents and thus can be used in very unintuitive ways. Up air plat warp. Mario's up air manipulates his ECB in a way which while rising will often let him land on the platform. Scuttle dash. We can preserve almost all of our wave dash momentum into a crawl in the opposite direction, resulting in a really funny looking crawl backwards. Fireball angles. Luigi's fireballs will bounce off of surfaces, and depending on the angle of the surface, they will bounce in different ways. You can use this to set up some fancy fireball edge guards. B reverse and wave bounce voodoo dash. The voodoo dash is a unique melee mechanic that allows Luigi to carry his ground speed off of a platform into the air with a neutral B. Now he can wave bounce or B reverse his voodoo dash for extra platform movement mix ups. Misfire shenanigans. Luigi's Misfire works a bit differently in P+. For starters, each side B has a 1 over 8 minus N chance of being a Misfire. This means that a side B increases its chance of being a Misfire with each unsuccessful attempt, and after 7 regular side Bs, a Misfire is guaranteed. In addition to this rule, you can also press L when Luigi's glowing to store that indicated Misfire for the next side B, but each time you store it, it becomes 3% weaker. Ledge options. Peach can use the improved tourney winner to make her ledge game much stronger. In addition to giving her a pseudo ledge dash, she also has an instant aerial out of it, or sh she can even float if available. This really helps nullify a lot of her previous weakness on the ledge. DJC Refresh. By using tournament winner and DJC, you can perform a pseudo hack dash to refresh ledge and float pretty safely. Z Drop Special Turnips. Z-dropping a special turnips will still have it retain its boosted damage and knockback. Z-drop footstool. With a quick reaction, you can actually confirm a Z-drop turnip directly into a footstool. <laughs> Autolink Gimp. If we use our Wario up B and only land one of the autolinking hits, our foes will be trapped in 39 frames of hitstone and experience no knockback. Dare Teeter Cancel. Wario can get really close to the ledge and guarantee a down air teeter cancel, even though the move looks like it goes straight down. An easy way to set this up is to F smash towards a ledge. Edge cancelled go. Sliding off plats with side B is fairly simple and provides a really nice movement mix up along with a pretty good hitbox. Tourney winner nil. Wario's double jump combined with his tourney winner allows for easy nil setups from WarioWare. Battlefield, Smashville, and Dreamland. Yoshi's Shield Changes. Now this isn't really tech, but it changes Yoshi so much that I think I should just discuss it here anyways. So, uh, as a quick rundown, Parry is gone, Light Shield is not in P+, uh, and now he takes Shield Stun. But, as compensation, he can now jump out of shield. This opens up his shield to be more like a standard character, but it gives him some new unintuitive options, like double jump land out of shield, as an example. Many ledge dashes. Yoshi has five different practical ways to ledge dash. They vary in galint and execution barrier, with the harder ones generally providing more galint, and then as it goes down, they either get easier, provide more utility, or in the case of drop down double jump waveland, should only be used over 100%, where the tourney winner is no longer viable for a ledge dash. Double jump armor footstool. Yoshi can mitigate his recovery disadvantage by using his, the double jump armor to tank a hit, following up by footstooling an opponent to gain a lot of additional height. Up B wall tech option select. We can actually buffer a wall tech jump while we try to sweet spot our egg toss. If we fail the sweet spot and get hit, the wall tech jump will happen, and we can actually return to stage with a side B, B reverse egg lay, or even grab the ledge with a down B. Armored boost grab. Bowser doesn't get any additional range from his boost grab, 
but he can time it well enough to retain two frames of his dash attack armor. He can also retain two frames of this armor into his Dacus. Nil setups. Bowser's double jump slightly manipulates his ECB, and we can use this to force a no impact land out of down B and tourney winner on Wario land. Koopa Claw stall. It might not seem very obvious at first, but Bowser's Koopa Claw angled upward actually stalls him in the air slightly. You can use this as a recovery tool similar to how Marth uses as side B. Multi Fortress. By continuously sliding off a surface with the start of a Whirling Fortress, you can restart the move. This works up to four times. Wave Drop Bowser Bomb Glide. Bowser Down B is another special that maintains aerial momentum. So by combining this with Wave Drop, we can really fly. Propeller Up B. By sliding off an edge during the startup of our up B, we will do a slowly falling propeller spin instead of gaining upwards momentum. Instant reverse ledge grab. Runoff charge cancel gives us a speedy ledge grab without needing to turn around. Special move momentum breaks. DK's up B can be done after a slide off to break all momentum instantly. DK's reverse side B can be done out of a slide off to reduce much knockback but it doesn't truly reset momentum. Up air plat cancel. DK's up air is one of the few moves that can be plat canceled falling and rising if done properly. And theoretically, according to this video, it can be done without a person even being on the platform rising as well. AGT peanut. It might be common knowledge by now, but the peanut is actually a holdable item, and Diddy can even catch it while it's still in air. In addition, with a well-timed recatch, you can stop the peanut from breaking if you catch it during the hit lag frames. Attacking with a banana in hand. Normally you can't access most of your normal attacks with an item in hand, but we can still access down tilt, down smash, and F smash by using a few special techniques. Down tilt and down smash are accessible out of crawl, with the smash stick requiring any C stick input except down. F smash can be done if you hold down the A button and use the C stick. Unblockable setups. Z drop when combined with aerial cross ups can be done for some near guaranteed trips. Double throw lockout. With a quickly timed AGT on a hit confirmed banana, it's possible to tech trap them if they attempt to tech the first banana throw. Peanut Hackstash. Since we can waveland at the end of our peanut gun, we can do this off the ledge to refresh our invincibility while shooting a projectile. It's not really invincible or anything, but it's pretty cool. Footstool Infinite. On many characters, Diddy Kong can convert an AGT banana into a footstool, into another AGT, and loop back into footstool, sliding a bit back each time. There is enough time to turn around, and Diddy can stomp after Footstool to finish the loop. Come on! Down B edge cancel. Falcon Kick is now edge cancelable. Have fun. Raptor Boost transition. There's a 10 frame window where Side B can transition from a grounded to an aerial state and vice versa. This can be done for a very fast Raptor Boost from ledge. Bear Dash. Falcon can do a well-timed aerial interrupted bear for 13 gallant frames. Side B to ledge. In addition to side B getting a grab box as a recovery option, it can be also done from the ground as an easy way to snap to the ledge quickly. Falcon Quake. It's performed by instantly landing a falcon kick on the plat for the grounded hitbox. This can also be edge cancelled. Aerial Shine follow-ups. Thanks to Fox's Aerial Shine nerf, it's actually possible now to do some fancy follow-ups off of platforms. Shine Footstool. Shine Spike might be worse in P+, but confirming an Aerial Shine into Footstool is devastating. You can also confirm a Grounded Shine into a Footstool on characters you can Wave Shine, but it's more just flashy than anything else. Footstool Up Air. We can combine Fox's incredibly fast fall speed and Up Air's very straight up launch angle 
to sort of loop aerial footstool into falling up air. While this really depends on the opponent's fall speed and weight, it's a really satisfying loop to hit. Plat Warp Nair Fox has some simple Plat Warping Nair setups out of his tournament winner. Don't try me. Scar Jump Double Laser On a stage with walls at its ledges, we can do a drop off Scar Jump B Reverse Double Laser and that does the same thing as a normal double laser, but doesn't use our double jump. Shine Footstool Falco sorta gets a Shine Spike. Well, sort of. With a really well-timed footstool, you can combo it out of your shine and get some really early kills. Auto cancel from ledge. Belko can auto cancel his up air out of his tourney winner for a four frame lag landing. Tourney winner shine. Improved tourney winner really brings out some strange ledge options, including tourney winner shine, which is an invincible combo starter that if they don't respect the space in front of ledge, they're going to get hit by. What's the matter, scared? Laser wave land. A laser during a short hop has a short window at the end where you can actually wave land out of it. And using this knowledge to its most cursed potential, we can actually perform a fully invincible hack stash from the ledge with a projectile going onto stage. Thankfully, it's impractically difficult. Dare interrupt. Wolf can full hop dare to aerial interrupt on a dreamland platform. While this is the easiest dare AI setup, there's definitely more out there. Shorten edge cancel. Shortening a grounded flash on the first possible frame will have Wolf never actually leave the ground. So if we do this at the edge, it's a guaranteed edge cancel. Provided it's pretty risky if you miss it. Another shine footstool? This one's not really as easy or practical as the other spaces, but you can footstool a lot of shine on some DIs, so worth noting. Nair footstool. With some good reactions and following SDI, it's possible to link the first hit of Nair into a footstool for a small loop. Bomb punts. Link's bombs actually have 7 HP. So really weak hits will send them flying instead of causing them to explode. Using different moves, Link can send his bombs at different angles using this knowledge. Falling Up B Slide Off Up B can now have both the initial strong hit and a falling spin attack. Quick Draw Bow If Link shoots an arrow before landing and he lands before he shoots, it'll cancel the remaining startup frames, making Link's uncharged arrow technically up to frame 2. Bomb Thrust Link's most relied on recovery technique, performed by AGT throwing a bomb downward and then daring into it. Bravest Boy This is a new style of bomb jump that can only be performed at max forward aerial drift that can be done by Z dropping a bomb and up airing the bomb. No Bounce Dare If Link lands a dare on the same frame that he lands, he won't bounce upwards. Boomerang leaves. For some strange reason, and only when thrown to the left, with various setups, Boomerang will just leave. Where's it going? Dare no bounce. Just like Link, if Toon Link's dare connects on the same frame that he lands, he won't bounce up. Run off strong up B. By sliding off as you initiate up B, you will get a strong up B without upwards momentum. This can also be used for grabbing the ledge. Slide off grounded up B. When doing a charged up B, Toon Link can move back and forth. By sliding off a platform, we can do some unique grab or combo setups. Bomb Juggle. With two bombs pulled, you can AGT between the two to sort of juggle them. Wall Climbing. By alternating an AGT upwards with a wall jump, it's possible to climb up walls very high. Basic Bomb Jump. The standard, most common, basic bomb jump that Toon Link uses is simply an AGT up and a strong up B into the bomb. Frame 2 arrow. Just like Link, it's possible to do the frame 2 quick draw bow with Toon Link. Telecancels. This is another thing that might be common knowledge by now. But Zelda can press special again along her teleport path to shorten her teleport, 
and this can be used al along with grounded teleports for ambiguous grounded movement. Nehru Glide After being struck by a powerful move, Zelda can jump and Nehru's for a bonus horizontal momentum. Dare Platland It's possible to down air platform cancel, however it's really laggy without an edge or teeter cancel. First hit AC up air. Up air is one of the only aerials in the game that has an active hitbox during an auto cancel window, allowing her to up air and lagless land for some really interesting combos. Din's Orbit It's possible to manipulate Din's in various ways, with one of the most useful being to manipulate it in a way to where on its way back it will orbit Zelda with an active hitbox. Scuttleback. Sheik has her own version of the wave scuttle, and it's much less noticeable, but it is there. Edge cancelled grounded needles. With specific positions, Sheik can edge cancel her grounded needle throw. Needle climb. Sheik can use her wall jump combined with B reverse needle cancels to climb walls. Offensive Shino stall. Thanks to the reverse ledge grab box, it's possible to Shino stall into stage for a poof hitbox on stage while teleporting back to ledge. Pivot Boost Grab Sheik can combine the best of both worlds with this grab technique, combining her dash attack boost grab with Brawl's pivot grab, and this really allows for some disgusting grabs out of nowhere. Chain Jacket By landing on the exact same frame that Chain comes out, Sheik's last used move will be attached to the end of her side B chain, but also shifted on the Z axis. <laughs> Float to ledge. Ganon's neutral B serves more purposes than just a recovery tool and reflector. It can also be a mid-air turnaround tool, the same way that charge characters can with their neutral Bs. You can also use this quick turnaround to float to ledge and grab ledge pretty quickly. Ganon Quake. Just like Falcon Quake, but with landing wizard's foot. Wizard Foot Stall. Ganon can actually perform an invincible hack slash by sliding off with the startup of landing down B. Float Aerials. By using Float, Ganon can perform some low to the ground aerials, although this is slower than shuffle aerials. Float Slide Nair and Up Air. Ganon can perform a text similarly to the slide off aerials with Wario, but utilizing Float, and this only works with Nair and Up Air. Quick Attack Cancel This is Pikachu's signature PM tech, and it might be common knowledge by now, but it's performed by doing an up B and only out of the first burst, but doing that into a landing, which then can be cancelled into a jump, aerial, or other special, including more quick attacks. Landing Thunder If you land on the ground on the same frame that the thunder goes to hit Pikachu, instead of doing Thunder 2 where Pikachu struck, Pikachu will just be actionable and have the multi-hit thunder hitboxes on him. Pika Stomp By doing a dare out of dropping a platform, Pikachu will instead get the landing dare hitbox, which actually comes out frame 2. Thunder Jolt Regrab and Reverse Thunder Jolt Regrab There's a tight window, but Pikachu can do a thunderbolt from a double jump from ledge and regrab the ledge in time. And if we combine that with the reverse edge grab from up B, we can do a B reverse thunder jolt from ledge and re-grab the ledge. Quick attack cancel infinite. We can combo a quick attack cancel down into a grounded footstool, and if we can react to our SDI, we can loop this infinitely for 3% each loop, but that's only theoretical and pretty difficult to execute, especially considering it's a 3% loop. Quick Attack Clipping Don't really know how or why, but this clip happened where Pikachu clips through FOD, and it can probably be done elsewhere, but I'm not really sure. Pound Quick Grab Since Ledge waits for you to have downward momentum for a snap to occur, Downward Pound is an easy way to bypass that check for a quick ledge grab. Specials Reverse Grab some of Puff's specials now have new reverse ledge grab boxes. Fast Rollout Puff's on charge rollout has typically no hitbox, 
However, there's a very short hitbox that appears when it transitions from an aerial to grounded rollout, so you can use this to surprise people. Slide back aerials. Just like Wario, Puff can abuse her high aerial mobility to do some aerials and then slide back onto a platform or surface. <laughs> Hover Cancel This is Mewtwo's bread and butter mechanic, basically giving him an omnidirectional float and allowing him to 4 frame landing lag on all of his disjointed aerials, allowing for crazy shield poke pressure as well as the aerials leading to devastating combos on hit. Teleport Tricks Mewtwo's empty teleport is already not laggy, but certain setups allow you to empty land with no lag, like on Battlefield's top platform for example. You can also use teleport from stage to ledge for an instant ramen noodles. Mid tele ledge cancel. You can actually edge cancel your teleports during the teleport duration, refreshing both your hover and double jump. Hover install. There's a really small window when activating hover that it doesn't actually burn your double jump, and we can abuse this to escape combos without actually using any resources. Shadow ball break. While it doesn't really reset your momentum the way some breaks do, Shadow Ball has a lot of pushback on its full charge, allowing you to mitigate some of the knockback of really strong moves, or you can use it as a recovery mix-up. Squirtle, Squirtle! Turnaround Animation Squirtle has a unique turnaround animation that's known as Shell Shift that even has a hitbox on it. This can even be jump cancelled at different times to carry momentum in different ways. Hydroplane by using smash attacks at different timings of the shell shift animation, we can carry the momentum in different ways for with various smash attacks in opposite directions. We can also reverse hydroplane up smash for a forward sliding up smash the same way that demo stackuses provide. Crummy stall. This is the name of a ledge stall using wall cling into a reverse side B instantly cancelled to a ledge grab. It's fully invincible, but it's pretty risky and difficult. Tilt and Smash Withdrawal There's actually two speeds for withdraw depending on if it's tilted or smash input. Scuttle Dash Thanks to his low traction and crawl, Squirtle has a scuttle dash. Water Gun Boots You can use the charging animation of Water Gun to stall Squirtle from sliding off stage, like how Luigi sometimes uses their tilts. Ivy! Ivy! Reel in edge cancel. When reeling into up B and someone's holding a ledge, you feel like you normally have three options. Going into the stage, going to the ledge, or returning off the stage to try to up B again. But you can also go slightly into stage and edge cancel that reel in to avoid the big landing lag and mix up your opponents. Reverse specials from ledge. Thanks to reverse ledge boxes, Ivy can actually utilize up B turnaround and solar beam turnaround from ledge without actually dying. Bear Platwarp Ivy can use the startup of Bear to platwarp onto a platform, and it's slightly faster than wave landing. Flop Lock This is the most famous of all the footstool loops, and is performed by doing a falling up air hit, known as a flop hit, followed by a grounded footstool, and looping the two. Synthesis Wind Box in addition to healing Ivysaur, Synthesis also has a small wind box that can be used for many small nefarious purposes. Dare Quick Drop Down air normally pops Ivysaur up, but you can bypass the stall for the most part by holding down during the attack. Glizzy Cancel By initiating a glide right below a platform, Charizard will transition into landing on the plat with 15 frames of landing lag. This can also be edge cancelled. Glide Tech Glide can be used off the ledge to ledge stall or hack stash, and you can also glide nil onto stage for upwards of 12 to 17 frames of intangibility. Plat Warp Nair We can also use Nair at some points to plat warp, but it doesn't really have very many known easy setups. Up Air Force Land in some situations, it's pretty unclear if you'll be in hit stun still when you land, such as out of many down throws that lead to the tech chases. Instead of trying to wiggle out in this really short window, we can instead try to squeeze out an auto cancel up air right before we land.
Magic series cancel. This is Lucario's bread and butter PM system, and it's an on-hit cancel system that has four tiers. They are jab and dash attack for tier one, tier two is tilts, tier three will be smashes and aerials, and four is special. And each tier can be chained into any higher tier on hit. Aura charge specials. Lucario gains aura by dealing 50% and starts each match with one charge of aura. These charges can be used for super versions of Lucario's special moves. Up B can be cancelled. Neutral special can be used for an aura bomb. Down B special can be also cancelled. And side B can be charged for a super strong grounded version or an aerial spike version. Fromentum. By combining an up B slide off break with an, a well timed up B charge cancel, you can carry this momentum into a bunch of different actions. Roncopter. Using aura charge cancel to go flying with a down B aerial, followed by doing a B reverse aura sphere cancel so that you can still recover afterwards. Wall climb. By repeatedly doing a wall jump B reverse aura sphere cancel, Lucario can climb any wall. Up Smash Late Reverse Lucario can turn around his up smash during the startup, even after charging the move. Super Wave Dash Momentum Carries In addition to Super Wave Dash being a 2 frame window, up from 1 frame window in melee, it can also be combined with some different P plus movement mechanics for some insane mix ups. For example, B Reverse, Wave Bounce, and Wave Draps all add different ways to alter super wave dash momentum. Crawling back can also be used as a way to instantly halt your momentum at any point and can be even used to reverse the momentum completely. Wall Climb Samus can climb walls by combining B reverse charge cancels with wall jumps thanks to her floatiness, she's probably the easiest one to learn this on. Samus also has a less intuitive ways to climb walls done by wave bouncing a missile after a wall jump. It's a little more difficult to do, but it also has a missile that goes off stage. Grapple Jump This is a really niche recovery technique where we can use the grapple to interrupt the frames of Samus' upward air dodge that slow her down to get a really nice vertical boost. This can also be done with a downward air dodge to get a super fast fall. Quick Crawl Normally entering crawl, it takes a little while, coming out frame 14, but we can do some tricks to really quickly enter crawl. Specifically, we can missile cancel, aerial interrupt, or empty land. Anything that leaves us in normal landing lag. Grapple interrupt. This is advanced aerial interrupt technique from ledge that gives us 10 frames gillant up from our 7 frames from AI up air and tourney winner ledge dash. It's done by performing an aerial interrupt Zare, and does not require you to have your tether available. Bomb Bounce Morph Ball Bombs bounce off of edges at 45 degree angles instead of dropping straight down. Pretty neat. Grapple Break A well-timed slide off ledge tether can break all momentum for Samus. Ice Mode Moveset Samus gets a bunch of new moves after performing side taunt. The ice mode changes her fair, her up smash, her down smash, her missiles, and even her F smash. For most moves it makes him a lot meatier and slower hits, except her down tilt which becomes a unique spacing tool. Try me. Flip stool. Flip stool is an alternate option that ZSS has after her down B that's done by pressing B while she's over another character. It has two hitboxes, one that meteors aerial opponents, and another that trips grounded opponents. Uncancelable up B. Zero Suit's up B is a strange offensive tool, with both a meteor and a spike in the same hitbox. And we can actually combine this weak spike hit with the powerful meteor to combine the knockback and make for a meteor effect that can actually not be meteor cancelled. Wall Climb. Zero Suit's up B slightly boosts her upwards momentum, so we can use this along with wall jumps and V-reverse to gain height for a few different cycles. Strong Daft 
As opposed to most angled moves that have similar but mainly weaker data for their down angled forward tilts, Zero Suit has a unique forward tilt that's actually 3 frames slower and does more percent, 3 more damage, making it strong enough to actually kill at reasonable percents. Okay. Tourney Winner Ledge Options Ness's tourney winner, when combined with his unique double jump, gives him a lot of ways to get off the ledge that he didn't have access to before, including double jump cancel mag land, double jump cancel wave land, and tourney winner double jump cancel up air auto cancel. And this gives the most gallon at 8 frames. Magnet Refresh From ledge, Ness can fully invincibly refresh by using magnet. You can use this to consistently set up a ledge dash. Magnet Land By using aerial magnet in specific spots, you can force yourself to land on a platform. You can also combine this with a double jump land out of the magnet to perform a sort of shine grab on people on platforms. EX Fire An aerial PK fire that's released on the same frame that you land will send a grounded PK fire with only PK aerial landing lag. Turning Winter Ledge Dash like Ness, Lucas also has a double jump cancel style double jump and can be used in combination with his tourney winner for a ledge dash that has up to 5 gallant frames. Snake Dash Lucas has a similar Zare tether cancel to Samus and his done perfectly allows him up to 14 gallant frames. Easily enough time to wave dash back to ledge for a hack stash or even get out an invincible F smash. Invincible Mag from ledge and a well-timed double jump, it's possible to poke on stage with a magnet while still being invincible. Windbox Tricks Lucas's Neutral B has an actual windbox on it, which can be used for some really niche applications. PK Thunderstall Lucas falls very slowly during his PK Thunder channeling, and it also has a pretty decent ledge grab box. So we can actually do a PK Thunder from ledge, for a decently long time and still re-grab it when the PK Thunder ends. Instant PK Thunder 2 Thanks to Lucas going into a slide starting PK Thunder, it's possible to run, dash, jump, and PK Thunder yourself much quicker and at a relatively safe downwards angle. Ah. Cutter cancels Kirby can use his aerial side cutter to cause a normal land on stage and on platforms pretty easily as well. Dash Attack Variants Kirby's Dash Attack causes him to slide off ledges, and you can even fast fault during it. Kirby can also alter the timing of the Dash Attack to make it go further or less far off the stage. Drill Stool Kirby can combo his drill into a grounded footstool on the whole cast at about 80%. The footstool loop is actually pretty simple, so it's one of the more dangerous footstool loops to watch out for. Kirby Forward Throw Kirby is basically the only character in the game that can regularly combo out of his forward throw, but this throw has almost all of it. It leaves Kirby airborne with only 8 frames of end lag, it has a high launch angle with high base knockback and low knockback growth, and if you're not really sure what all that means, basically it adds up to allowing follow ups on almost everyone at almost all percents and even allows for some chain grabs on some characters. Dash Attack Jump Cancel Kirby's aerial dash attack is actually jump cancelable before its IASA frames start, so we can use this knowledge to be less stuck in dash attack and maybe do some cool follow-ups. Slide Attack Cross-Up When performing Kirby's slide attack on a shielding opponent, it'll actually cause Kirby to cross them up instead of pop them up like on a hit. Fight me! Meta Knight Clank Interactions Meta Knight has special properties when it comes to his clanking, but it really doesn't come up since all of his sword moves are transcendent, meaning that they don't interact with other attacks or projectiles, with his dash attack being the only non-transcendent move he has. But it also is the only move in the game that can actually clank with aerials. Dimensional Cape Shenanigans Meta Knight's Dimensional Cape has lots of movement practicality, Specifically, it's got a lot of edge cancels, and it can be used as a way to get to ledge quickly, or even edge guard with the powerful attack without having to wait for any of the end lag by just grabbing ledge after. 
You can also perform a Mega Reversal, which is just a fancy name for being able to teleport from the ledge and attack them in a way where they get sent towards the ledge you were on, meaning it's the closest way to the blast zone. This is really useful for catching off guard any opponents that aren't expecting it. Nair Plat Warps Meta Knight can set up quick platform warps by using timed double jumps, and it's an instant double jump for the battlefield setup. Glide Nil If you have a low enough X velocity out of your up B glide, you will automatically nil on landing. Corkscrew Tricks Meta Knight Side B has a reverse grab box and can be edge cancelled, so using it from stage may be a bit better than it seems. Double Jump Nil DDD has a double jump that massively messes with his ECB, allowing him to easier set up double jump no impact lands. DDD also has two aerial interrupts that can be performed out of Nair and Fair, but without getting the auto cancel window on them, they're pretty laggy. Waddle Dash This is DDD's bread and butter mechanic, and it allows him to re-throw his waddles after he throws them with side B. It can be done by either wave dashing over them for a boosted throw, or you can either grounded press A or Z to rethrow them, or do an aerial Z press if they're airborne. You can also angle these rethrows up or down. Waddle Boost DDD can carry much of his waddle dash momentum directly into his up B, allowing for some additional recovery distance, if he ever really needs it. First Hit Dare some of the top hitboxes of DDD's down air send at a downwards angle to send them into the multi-hit part of the move. But if we can single hit this first part of the top of his hammer, it actually turns the move into a devastating spike. Instant up B snap. DDD's up B has a ledge grab box on frame 1 and we can use this for instant ledge snags. Wave bounce stall. While Aerial Side B is burned, it's possible to Tourney Winner Wave Bounce Side B to be positioned for a ledge regrab. Slide on Aerials. With specific positioning during the slide off, it's possible to do an aerial after sliding off and then slide back onto the surface, kind of performing a pseudo drop cancel. B Stick Up B Angling and Up B Stage Clip. It's possible to use the C-Stick to tilt your up B, and while doing this, Blue Zone was able to find a way to clip into Battlefield slightly, so this might be possible on some other stages. Run Drop Side B By utilizing both a full speed shield drop combined with a Side B stall, we can just fly between Battlefield platforms. Up Smash Spike Roy's up smash has a spike hitbox that's designed to keep enemies in the move, but if we connect only these spike hitboxes, we can either trap opponents on platforms, or even use it for some strange edge guards. C stick up B. Like Marth, Roy can also use the C stick to angle his up B, allowing for an easy full back drift up B that just looks crazy. Wave bounce stall. Like Marth, Roy can also do the wave bounce stall out of his tourney winner without an aerial side B stall charge. Nil setups. Roy's double jump and backwards single jump manipulate his ECB in a way to where it's really easy to set up for no impact lands. Prepare yourself. Quick draw land. It's possible to transition an aerial quick draw into a grounded quick draw, allowing you to jump cancel it. GQDFL, also known as the Grounded Quick Draw from Ledge, is done by doing a Quick Draw land out of our double jump off the ledge. By doing this we get a sort of Quick Draw ledge dash. Quick Draw One Shot A fully charged Quick Draw has a unique one shot that can be activated by pressing A or B within one frame of the Quick Draw attack landing, and it will kill the opponent at any percent. It's interesting to note that pressing B gives the hitbox an extra active frame. Bear Aerial Interrupt Ike can get up to 12 frames Gillant by performing an AI fair from the ledge. Nils Similarly to Roy's, Ike's back jump and backwards double jump make it quite easy to set up for different nils. Super Launcher This works really similarly to how Roy's one-hit KO works on Puff, 
but Ike's upbeat has an initial and second hit that both have immense knockback. And by combining these two hitboxes without connecting it to the rest of the upbeat, we can kill floaties at really low percents. Triple jump. In order to give tap jump players more leniency, there's a 3 frame window where you can double jump, up B, and still have a double jump available. Up B angling. Game & Watch up B is an angleable move, and we can even use a C stick to get the really hard far left and right angles while still freeing up your analog stick for any DI or drift. Turning winner ledge dash. P plus somehow altered things allowing Game & Watch to get 7 frame skill int out of his turning winner ledge dash. Gatling combo. Game & Watch can combo his active dash attack into his sliding up smash during his Dacus. Neutral B Pressure Game & Watch Neutral B is land cancelable, and using that knowledge we can time a really low Neutral B and use the pan hitbox on shield for a positive shield interaction. And as an extension of this, we can do a Neutral B really low to the ground and actually no impact land, and the bacon hits shield up to plus 8. Land Cancelled Grounded Bacon by doing a B-reverse bacon immediately after running off stage, it's possible to actually slide back on stage immediately and land cancel the bacon almost instantly. Gyro Climb Against a flat wall, it's possible to gain height by juggling a gyro against the wall with an AGT upwards. Gyro Jump With some speed, it's actually possible to catch a gyro in the same jump that you launched it but this only works within a completely uncharged gyro. Dare landing. Similarly to the Lynx, if you connect the dare the same frame that you land, you're not going to get the bounce up effect, and you're simply just going to land. Booster drift backs. We can use the momentum gained from Rob's booster aerials to drift back onto a surface that we leave for a quick aerial that returns us back onto the grounded surface. Boosting wavelands and nils. By performing really low to the ground boost, Rob's ECB is set up perfectly for perfect wave lands and no impact lands. Chaining Boosts Since Rob's boost charger refreshes the frame before you actually land, it's possible to chain as many boosts as you like when you're really low to the ground. Six frame delay when Anna is actionable, she'll input everything you do with a 6 frame delay. And we can extend this with various different actions. Uh, the exception to this rule is Blizzard, where Nana actually tries to attempt the Blizzard as soon as possible. Pillowing, also known as permanent intangible ledge occupation, allows the climbers to cycle between the ledge and permanently occupy it while being completely invincible. Uh, and also you can have the climber on stage do a smash attack to cover any on stage options during this. The Cuckold. This is a universal zero to death punish that Ices can get across the entire cast, but it requires a one frame window. After landing a grab with synced climbers, you'll need to perform a forward throw with Popo, and at the correct timing, input a pivot grab. If done properly, Nana will re-grab the opponent as they exit the forward throw, and her pathing will have her then forward throw back into you, and you can have just Popo run forward and re-grab them as they exit the throw. You can repeat this as many times as necessary until you reach a ledge and can perform standard handoffs from there. Z-Sync A PM exclusive desync performed by doing a move, then doing a different move plus the Z button on the next frame, and then Popo will do the first move, and Nana will do the second move. Super Belay If we time a belay to where Nana dies as we launch, Popo will launch really really high. Plat Warp Unblockable It's possible to set up a plat warp with one climber while doing a rising nair with the other, allowing us to do a cheeky unblockable setup. The fight is on! Sky Jump. This is a really strange one, but while Pit has downward velocity and then jumps and does an arrow, within 4 frames of losing this velocity, he gets a significant upwards boost. Glide Snap. We can use the startup of Glide to instantly snap to the ledge. Shield Cape. Pit's downbeat actually works pretty similarly to Mario's cape, reflecting moves in addition to just projectiles. 
We can use this for some fancy edge guards. B Reverse Glide. Since you carry a lot of your momentum from your dash into your glide, we can use this to carry your momentum into a B Reverse Glide for a burst movement option in the reverse direction. Arrow Loops. Pit has full control of his arrows in the air, and they don't despawn over time or by going off the top blast zone, so we can use this for really fancy arrows or even an arrow storm from the sky. Pluck Landing Neutral B can be used to perform a nil almost anywhere with a fair amount of leniency, and we can take this to the ledge for a really safe hack stash or a ledge dash with a whopping 21 frames of Galint. Edge Cancelled Pluck It's not very well known, but similarly to turnips, Pluck can be edge cancelled. Whistle Interrupts Whistle is an 11 frame commitment. In doing this, we can B reverse and wave bounce it to give us a bunch of aerial drift mix ups while only committing 11 frames. Brawl Pivot Grab Skip Active Pikmin It's possible to perform a Brawl Pivot Grab that actually uses your next in line Pikmin instead of the active one. To do this, we simply input the grab before the turnaround. Puppet Pikmin With various setups, it's possible to have a Pikmin perform an attack on a separate platform from Olimar. Mission accomplished. Jump cancel grenade up throw. Snake can actually jump cancel out of his grenade upwards throw, allowing him nearly instant access to grenade AGT. Chai stands for Cypher Hop Aerial Interrupt, and it's performed by timing a up air while rising through a platform with Cypher. This is also performable from ledge and can give up to 10 frames gallant. Mortar Mine. With really precise spacing, it's possible to get your up smash mortar stuck on the edge of platforms. Nair Plat Warp Snake's Nair can plat cancel after the first hit. It's not quite as good as Chai, but the first hit can link into grab sometimes. Infinite Recovery This is basically Snake's bread and butter recovery technique, but by dropping C4 and immediately activating it, Snake will hit himself midair and launch himself upwards, also refreshing his up B. So with proper use of that, Snake should basically never be dying off the bottom blast zone. Granted that he doesn't get spiked down there. Grenade Bounces Grenades have a very high projectile speed and bounce a lot, so they can be easy to overthrow, especially at enemies that are above you, but you can mitigate this by bouncing a grenade off the ground so it goes about half as high. IGT, or Instant Glide Toss By using shield, Snake immediately will drop his grenade, if we combine this with a shield drop, we get the fastest access to get a grenade in hand or access to AGT. Reslide Aerials Snakes Nair, Dare, and Bear can all be performed after sliding off of a surface and forced to be relanded on that same surface. Dare Footstool While the first three hits of Dare don't just infinite you on their own, with the addition of Footstool to this combo, all that's really required from the Snake player is that he can follow your SDI and avoid hitting the last hit. You're too slow. Rascal. This is a really dumb name for a really useful technique. It's performed by hitting someone with the release hitbox after charging down B. And you can still jump cancel this hit even though you're in hit lag. And while you still have to go through these 7 hit lag frames, you can basically buffer your next option immediately. It's worth mentioning that Sonic used to be able to convert this technique into Footstool, which was so powerful that it had to get removed from P+. Spinrar, a technique allowing Down B to easily break CC. It's done by doing a turnaround jump immediately after connecting with Down B, causing an aerial Down B to come out and cause the knockdown. Spin Shot, by doing an instant double jump out of your Down B, you can get more horizontal momentum than simply just double jumping. Wild and Moto Shot. Shield pushback on a grounded down B can transition it into the aerial version. Performing a frame 1 spin shot is known as the Moto Shot, and drifting back onto the surface into the grounded down B variant is known as the Wild Shot. Rapid down B pressure. Holding forward during an aerial down B will refresh the single hit continuously. This can be useful for some shield pressure or some very damaging combos on some unsuspecting opponents. Side B Land Cancel 
If you hold back during an aerial side B and hit an opponent or shield before landing, Sonic will actually just land instead of transitioning into the grounded side B. Slide back, aerials. Sonic can perform a dare or fair and slide back onto the same surface they were on. Dare is one of the only moves that can do this without actually having any hit lag, meaning you don't have to hit anyone with it. Gatling up smash. Sonic is one of the few characters that can cancel his dash attack into a sliding up smash and get both hits. Spring drop delay. You can delay a spring drop by up being as you slide off the stage, causing the spring to slightly linger and occupy some space for a little bit longer. Up air AI. There's an up air aerial interrupt that can be performed for a massive 17 frames galant. Bouncing Spring. Just like Sonic, you can drop a spring right above the ground and it will make the spring retain its hitbox until it lands again. Up B Nil. Up B has a lot of really easy setups into a no impact land. Cliff Topping. After climbing to the top of a wall, Knuckles will be very slightly airborne from the ledge. By holding forward we can do a nil out of this, we can perform a wave land out of it, and we can even do an up B to get a lingering spring trick at the ledge. Down smash fall through. When charging a down smash on a platform, you can actually hold down and get a unique hitbox and fall through the platform. Reverse down B ledge grab. You can reverse grab ledge out of your down B. Egg lay release. By landing Eggle on the last active frame, the hit player will get pulled into Yoshi, but instead suffer a grab release animation and be in massive disadvantage. Nana Sticky After being hit out of frame 1 of side B, Nana will get stuck to Popo. 18 Gallant? If Peach grabs Ledge within 7 frames of being airborne, she can use a tourney winner and still double jump land out of it for a massive 18 frames actionable. This is really well explained in a tweet thread from Eon, so I'll make sure to have that link in the description. Frame 1 Falcon Quake In PM 3.6, if you did a Falcon Quake on a moving platform, it would always be the Frame 1 version. Go Breaks When hit by a strong move that causes you to slide off the stage, a well-timed side B can abruptly cancel all the knockback. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. I truly appreciate it. I'd like to extend some special thanks because this project would have taken so much longer without some of the help that I've gotten. First goes to Dead Blue, who got me pointed in the right direction with the P Plus Labbing Community Discord, as well as to Erg directly. Next, I'd like to thank Erg for his Reddit threads for character tech, as those were an invaluable resource for this project. Next, I'd like to thank Eon for her invaluable P Plus information. She just understands so many systems in the game that are really complex and explained them to me very simply and digestibly. So thanks so much to her for that. Next I'd like to plug Brawlback and with Lilat Matchmaking, who has recently made it available to matchmake on Vanilla Brawl, PM 3.6, P Plus, and even mods like PM Remix with uh, Rollback coming in the future. So stay tuned to that project. And lastly, I'd like to ask you to maybe like or subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And stay tuned in the future, because I plan on uploading more stuff then. Thanks again, and have an excellent day. You know, now that it's all said and done, I'm pretty happy to be done with this video. Editing is just really hard work, and I'm looking forward to just heading home and getting some relaxing done. Wait, where are we going? Oh, God!